What's happening YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into the channel. Today we got the Duramax back in the shop. Uh, we had a little bit of electrical issues over the last trip that we ended up taking up to Chicago. I don't know if it was just the bad luck of Illinois or the bad juju that uh, Mr. JRC had on the Duramax. So made us some more content at least so we've got a couple of electrical issues uh one i had some turn signals go out and then i had my turn signals stay on on the right side they wouldn't turn off at all and then i had an issue with the mass airflow that was a weird issue and then uh when i went to check that one out i went to pull the uh hood handle and the hood cable broke of course that's my luck so today we're going to be replacing the hood cable we're going to be doing some looking into our turn signal issues probably going to be a flasher issue is what i'm thinking so let's dive in and get into it So I got the uh, grill apart preemptively here, and it looks like our hood cable didn't break, it just ended up stretching. Uh, it stretched way too much. It wouldn't, it wouldn't pull the arm over nearly enough from what it was supposed to be. Probably my fault for trying to pull on the stupid handle when it was like two feet of snow and ice all packed into everything. And yeah, so we're gonna get this thing uh, pulled apart here, uh, clip it loose, unclip it from a couple of the things we have it tied to in here. And then uh, when you guys do these hood cables, what your best friend is gonna be is some mechanics wire. You're gonna wanna tie it around the end here. And then as you pull your hood cable in to the inside of the vehicle, you're gonna have some mechanics wire coming out this way. So that way when you go to hook up your new one, you can just tie on the mechanics wire to the end of the new hood cable, pull it through the firewall, easy peasy. So we got our cable all uh, uh, undone from the latch assembly and then for a little bit more visibility, got some wire and electric taped it onto the end of the old cable. So now we're going to just go inside, undo the handle cable assembly all together pull it right on through so then we'll be pulling this nice red wire right through our firewall to be able to pull back out through the new one once we tape it on there just as easily. So this specific one just has a handle that's tied on to the cable. One single nut's able to take it off right there and then hopefully we'll just be able to kind of feed it through the firewall and pull it out back this way. There we go. Now that we've put our, pulled our cable right on through, we've got this nice red cord here ready to go. And then we are going to just tape the electrical tape, the end of that one to the smaller end of our new cable and pull it right back on through the firewall. So one of the other real points that I got into doing this video was because my turn signals didn't work. Uh, it actually blew out my nice uh, JDM A-Star turn signal bulb here and really what the culprit was are these stupid little resistors that I ended up putting in in an earlier video. These things, see if we can get it in uh, focus here, got so hot that it ended up melting plastic from a side um, little housing that it was sitting against in there. They got super, super hot. So the load that this thing must have pulled was a huge amount. So it ended up uh, shorting out my bulb and shorting out my flasher too. So my right flasher, when I turn it on, it actually just stays on even though the bulb is out also. The flasher is just stuck on right turn signal all the time, even if I don't use it. So. Now, just because of these, I've got to put in a new flasher and got to get rid of these things, got to put in new bulbs. Don't put these in, guys. They seem like cool little things to start off with, but don't do it. So instead, you're going to put one of these in. 
This is an LM487 part number. This is a light module, which is a flasher that is able to handle and cause handle the LED light bulbs that we're going to be putting back in, cause it to get rid of that flash fast issue that you would have with a normal uh, bulb without having to have those hotter than shit little resistors that we put in place. So we're going to put some new bulbs in here. And then inside, I'm going to show you exactly where your flasher is so you can swap this one out. I'll also be putting a link down in the description below where exactly you can find this one. I ended up getting on Amazon. It's like 40, 50 bucks, something like that. You know, just save yourself headache in the long run. Those uh, resistors, they were like 12 or 13 bucks before, but do a little bit more money, put the right part in. That would have been my fault on not going through with research, but you live and you learn, people. So guys, I took my lower dash panel off right here just with the screws underneath and then it pulls straight out. And then on the back side of your fuse panel, located right here, this is actually your flasher relay right here. It just kind of plugs into the back. There's a, a little retainer thing there. You might have to end up getting a little pry tool, take the top connector out. Mine was stuck in there just a little bit, but then you're able to just pull it on out. Right there. All right, turn our key on. And then once we've got our new flasher all put in, we can turn our turn signal on and everything works just how it should. Doesn't flash fast, no need to have extra resistors, just our brand new flasher. Easy as that guys, whole lot easier. And just like that guys, we've got our turn signals and flashers working correctly just how they should. So for future reference, do not put the cheap $11 resistors in line of your LED bulbs. You're just gonna waste money later on. So go ahead and get the special flasher for LEDs. It's gonna save you money in the long run. Well guys, it's been late enough the day for me. We've been uh, here in the shop for going on 11 and a half hours now, so time to go home and get some dinner. If you guys like content like this one, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that bell notification when you uh, get notified to come out with more cool content like this for you guys to enjoy. I'll be coming out with lots more of it here soon. We've got the tool heads crate as well. Don't forget, go check out that video. Go check out the toolheadscrate.com right up here www.toolheadscrate.com. Get signed up for that one. We're going to have some really great products for you tool heads and tool lovers out there alike. Well, thanks again, and as always, you guys stay awesome.